Okay, this is a 2013 club car precedent that just came off a golf course. So it has no lights on it, no headlights, no tail lights. And that's what we're going to do to this cart. We're going to install headlights and tail lights. But also, in addition to that, we need to install a wiring harness, which is called a bucket harness on this. Um, 2008.5 and newer precedents do not have the bucket harness installed in the factory. The earlier ones do. So if you have an earlier club car uh, precedent, earlier than 2008 and a half, yours is already pre-wired for the lights. This one isn't, so in addition to the light kit, you have to buy a bucket harness. We install a lot of these, we sell a lot of these, so if you can always contact us if you're looking for one, we can sell you one. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is try to film the procedure to install the bucket harness on this cart. It's pretty simple. First thing we're going to do is flip the run tow switch, as always. It's in the back down here, right here. Okay. Then I'm going to pull the seat off of this thing. Okay, I showed you in an earlier video to take these four screws out if you're going to pull the floor mat up. There's two on this side, two on that side. They're Torx T40 bit is what you need. You pull those out and then you work the uh, floor mat up and over. And this is how dirty and disgusting it is under there. This is all golf course grass and sand and dirt and crap that's built up on this thing. It's just amazing. So once you get to this point, we will clean all that out. We'll scrape it and vacuum it and get it all out before we close this thing back up. Um, we're going to stick my finger in that hole and pull this inspection plate up. Another guy with a heavy heel broke the uh, thing. So anyway, pull it up. That's what we got. Oh, shit sputtered my face. Anyway, this is what it looks like down there. Remember, this is the brake linkage. Your M cores down under there. That's what those wires are going to. So. I'm going to clean all this up before I work on it because I can't stand working on that. So I'm going to clean it up. Okay, I just got done cleaning this, vacuuming all this dirt and debris out of here. See how this is what it looks like now. So I'm going to see, see these two screws that are all rusty and nasty. While I got this open, I'm going to spray some stuff and try to loosen those. I'm going to try to pull those out and put them back in because eventually this cart's going to need an M-Core and to put, install the M-Core I need to remove that pedal assembly and right now it's in my shop I'm not in a customer's house so I would be fighting that in front of them and I don't want to do that so I'm going to loosen those and remove that and put it back in right now just as a safety precaution for later but what I wanted to show you now, once this is cleaned off, next what we're going to do, we're going to take the ring, this beauty ring, off of the uh, charge receptacle. And you see the two little holes in the sides? I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to put a little screwdriver in there. Can you see that? And then I'm just going to if I get it in there. I need a video man. There, I just pried it out. Put it in there and pry it out. So I have this ring out. We have to take this ring out. Throw it in there. Because I'm going to take this kick plate off. But you have to, it won't remove unless you have that out. Okay? Now that I have that out, I'm going to remove these three. There's three big torque screws there. There. I'm going to pull those out. And then I'll be able to pull that kick plate out. Also, we got to take the key for the dash assembly out, which is this thing with the amber light and the key switch. Now, I'm going to show you how I do this. <laughs> you can get all the special tools because these are Torx. These are Torx. And there's a little tiny one right there. You see that? Well, I've done so many of these. I just grabbed some screwdrivers and to show you an example instead of getting the right tools 
I just take this little tiny straight blade screwdriver and I stick it in here. It fits right inside that torch thing and I unscrew it. These are never very tight so you can get away with this. You definitely don't use power tools. But, see, this is the screw. I put it right there, put my screwdriver there, pick up another screwdriver, straight blade, and I'm going to unscrew these because I'm pulling this key switch assembly off. Gonna put that there, get the other one. You had to do it with one hand, but I guess when you're talented, you can do it. Okay, got those out. Now, this hooks up underneath here. Let me grab this and you'll see. Okay, there's the part that hooks. See that little metal clip? That hooks up underneath that slot and that's what that small screw goes into. So, get out of the way so you can see. This is the key switch assembly hanging. So I'm going to unplug this harness right here. It's a two-hand job. I'm going to unplug that. This is the uh, factory wiring for the Visage unit. It goes up this post and comes out. That's what this thing up here is for, for a GPS system for golf courses. So I pull those wires out and I leave this assembly in there just to use for the shelves up there. But you can easily pull that out with I think eight screws. So I'm gonna cut that wire out, I'm gonna unplug that thing, and then I'm gonna pull those three bolts out and pull that kick plate. Out. Just pulled the kick plate out. That's what it looks like once it's out. Remember I pulled it from here, down here. That's what it looks like out. Um, the key dash assembly this is what it looks like when it's out I unplugged it this is the harness it was plugged into the white plugged into that this went to the visage the GPS system we're no longer using and when we put our light kit in we will be plugging into this gray wire this factory um, I took those two screws out those I'm still soaking because they're really in there solid I may end up having to chisel them out, which really sucks. But uh, that's what happens when you get wet underneath here. So this now is ready for the next step on the harness, which means, well, it's, I can thread it right through here now. What I'll probably do is loosen this body. There's four screws, one, two, three, four. You don't have to loosen these, but I'm gonna loosen those four and I'm gonna take the two screws out holding this forward reverse switch on. So I'm gonna take the forward reverse switch off, I'm gonna take those four screws out and then this whole body will flop and I'll be able to drop my harness right down in this hole next to this wire, next to this flex. And it'll come out here and we'll string it where it goes. Okay, I just took the four reverse switch loose. I pulled out those two torque screws. They were um, T25s, I believe. And the four reverse switch is now hanging. I took out the four bolts I told you on the body. Those were T30s. And what that allows now, this body, you can, let me get over here. See if you can see. See how the, the reason we did this is so we can come over here and thread our wiring harness through there. So this is what a factory bucket harness looks like. Comes like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it out on the floor so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, this is the bucket harness laid out completely. You'll see at this end, it has the connector that's gonna go underneath the dash plus 
remember one of my videos I said something about that gray wire this is the gray wire I was referring to that we we're going to plug in later these wires over here split off those are the uh, wires that go down into the brake section for the brake lights if you're going to have them come down this is your power wires to feed this harness then you've got your two uh, whips that go to the tail lights sometimes yeah they did sometimes they mark them yeah this one says driver side which is nice so we are going to now string this thing through here okay first thing I do is grab this thing throw the uh, tail whips out over the back now we've got this to deal with now this Y setup right here is going to end up down underneath that um, charge receptacle. There's a groove. See that groove that you can lay the wires right down in here? So this Y, this wire is going to lay down in there and those are going to be down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this now down through here like I was explaining earlier and I'm sure I'm gonna have to do it with two hands so I'll be right back okay I've got the harness see how I wove it down next to this existing flex I went down through that hole comes out down here that's the Y back underneath the existing. The brake wires lay right down this little groove along with the infill wires for now. The main part of the Y lays in this trough in the body. Just got it laying up here now. It's eventually going to plug on to my uh, key switch assembly dash. And then the existing wires go down this other trough. So that is what the harness looks like at this point. Just a regular bucket harness. Then in, back inside here, we're going to have, we've got the wires for the, to feed the whole thing. And the two taillight whips. The taillight whips are going to come down and go through these little sections here. Up to the tail light, which we'll cut in later. So right now I'm going to let these tail whips hang. Um, there's something else I'm going to do. I'm going to run another, an additional single wire. I'm going to run a wire through here, lay it down next to this. Uh, this wire eventually is going to go to my key switch area, and I'll explain that later. But before I close this back up, I'm going to go ahead and run my additional number um, 16 wire I'm going to run and lay it down in that trough with that cable. Okay, you can see this yellow wire I ran down through there. I left it up here. The reason being, I'm going to be mounting a relay right here for the lights later. But I put it down here, I put a piece of duct tape to keep it down in the groove there, put a piece of tape there, and it's hanging out at this end. So I'm getting ready to put the pedal assembly back in, and the floor, but I wanted to see the wires before I um, closed it up. Okay, so now we're going to close this back up. Okay, getting ready to put the floor mat in. I just got the toe kick panel back in, the three screws. Uh, mounted the forward reverse switch, tightened the body back down. We've got the pedal group assembly in there, um, screwed down. Wires are all in place waiting for the floor mat. Oh, let me show you over here. See the wires are just hanging down in here. These are for the brake light assembly and switch. If you put them on, that's what these are for. So right now, we're going to just lay them down in there. I've got the brake adjusted just perfect. Remember, we want to, with the brakes off, put the 
tip of the tape measure on top of this, you come up to the edge of this plastic floor. You want two inches from here to here, two inches right here. Two inches, let me show you, it's perfect. I got it at two inches, I'm gonna lock the brake. Once I lock the brake, I'm trying to push the cart. See, it won't move. Because it's perfect, so that's it, the two inch adjustment. So now I'm going to put the little panel back in the floor. I'm gonna put the mat down, screw it down, and then um, come back. Okay, we're gonna close out this uh, video on installing the bucket harness on the precedent. I've got, let me get this out here, got the floor, got the cart put back together. I uh, remember the toe kick, I got that in. I remember to put the little ring on the charge receptacle, that just pops back in. Got the pedal assembly, uh, the little plastic beauty part that goes around it. Floor mats in. Um, so now, from here, you see the wire harness on the right, which was factory that I unplugged. The one in the middle is the new one we ran. And the yellow wire is the one that we're going to show you when we install the light kit video, which we'll be making next. And then the other end comes into here. Other end of my yellow wire, I ran to the key switch. Um, it splits off here for the tail lights. Tail light uh, whips lay in that little channel. And they go in this hole right now. I just got to lay in here until we do the video on cutting the lights in the back because there's none there. And got these wires hanging out. The uh, the black hanging out of the harness and the blue with the fuse. The black eventually is going to plug in. There's a factory number 10 with a bullet connector down here. See this? This is actually coming from the OBC. But this, uh, this black wire on our harness here will be plugging into there like that, okay? And that's where we'll be picking up our ground. We don't call it a ground, I guess, on a golf cart because nothing goes to the frame. So that's our common, the black. So we'll be plugging that into there. And then this, we're going to be running um, actually through a reducer. So I'll show you that as part of my video on installing the light kit. But for now, that's how you install the bucket harness. And that's it. So you can order your bucket harness from us if you don't have one. Remember anything, to, any precedent, 2008.5 and newer doesn't come with that. And you're going to have to buy it separate from the light kit. Okay, so that's in there. Um, now we're going to get the light kit out and make us another video. So uh, subscribe to our channel. You can email us at waynesgolfcarts at gmail.com. You can call us. We'll put the phone number somewhere. And uh, give us a comment down below. You know, if you want us to keep making some videos or if there's some you want us to make you haven't seen yet, give us an idea email us uh put it down there but thanks for watching and hopefully you'll subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you'll get uh, future notifications